Hello, YouTubians. Uh, this is a video I'm trying to make for the second time because for some reason my phone's an idiot and I had to uh, delete a bunch of stuff because even though the Epic comes with a 16 gig card, I filled it up within the first like 20 minutes that I had it. So, yep, had to delete a bunch of music just for you guys so I can record a 720p video. Alright, how to root the Samsung Epic. I know a lot of people have been asking about it and because I did... Uh, a thing on the Samsung moment, and I helped a bunch of people apparently, they like the videos. Um, this thing has a really bright light, just so you guys know. Um, hang on, my eyes have to adjust back to my screen. Alright, the first thing you guys are going to want to do... Go to... Uh, I don't know if you can see that. SDXdevelopers.com and then there's like a little search thing somewhere on one of the main screens. It'll be like over to the uh, the right. And then just type in one click root for the Epic 4G. And find the newest version. Um, let me full screen this real quick. Alright. Once you do that, you're going to see this page. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is download the first thing. It says download. That is the actual root right there. That's the root. So download that, um, save it to your desktop so you know where it is because you're going to have to mess with that in a minute. Alright, then, depending on what operating system you have, I have a 64-bit Windows computer, so click on 64-bit for me or 32-bit for you. If you don't know what you have, go to uh, Start Menu, right-click on Computer, and go to Properties, and somewhere in there it'll say either 32-bit or 64-bit operating system. Alright, after you do that... <coughs> On your phone, I mean, you guys can just read this all for yourselves once you go to this page, but uh, press menu, go to applications, development, and then enable USB debugging. You need that. Uh, make sure your phone is unplugged from the USB when you do this. All right, now the way it says to do it on here, I couldn't get to work. So after step two, that's where you get off this page. All right, now what you're gonna want to do the way that I did it go to start menu um, right here type run R U N, and then right here you'll see run you click on that and that will bring you a little black box like this it's not gonna have a bunch of writing in it I just just got done rooting my phone and checked that it worked and my phone wasn't bricked or anything and now I'm making the video so um, Alright, first thing you're going to want to do is go to wherever you saved it, where you saved the file. Hopefully it's on your desktop, because I told you to put it on your desktop. Um, mine's actually in C, because you're going to want it in C eventually. Alright, it will be on your desktop. Actually, hang on, cancel it. Cancel you. Get out of there. Alright, mine's still on the desktop. Alright. Um, I use WinRare, so it might come out as a WinRare file for you, or depending on what it does. Just re-click it, go to Extract Files. You have a new Yahoo email. I have a new Yahoo email. Um, Alright, go to Extract Files, and then just push OK. And that will give you a folder right here with the extracted files. Now, I don't need this one, because I already did it, so I'm going to delete it. But when you extract it, just right click it, go to rename, name it Samsung, and then put it on your C drive. Right there, Samsung. Just drag the file right over and drop it on there. Now, after you do that, open up your run, whatever the hell this little black thing's called, and then type in, um, type in CD space backslash, and then that'll do something and then type in CD space Samsung and that will open up the thing, the um, the whatever the Android thing is called and then it'll tell you if your device is connected or not. It says it's deta or attached, it says the device number and all that so that's how you know that it is in fact connected. After you do that, type in DIR and then a bunch of stuff will pop up, blah 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 and then you can see in here is the run.bat file. That's the folder that they tell you to double click. 
but this way is just more efficient, I found, because for some reason I'm an idiot and couldn't get the other one to work. Um, right, where am I at? Right here. Alright, after it'll say C, so Samsung, type in run.bat, and then that will bring you to all this stuff. Let me scroll down a little bit. Alright, for me, the first time I did this one, it didn't work, and it told me somewhere on here, um, it said phone, alright, it did everything that it was supposed to do, and then it went to uh, ADB connection will be reset, restart ADB server on desktop, and re-log in. Now, a bunch of the videos that I've seen had you do some crazy complicated thing right there, I didn't do that. I just left my phone alone and wait to see what would happen. And when I did that, it said wait, waiting for phone to reconnect. Then it said phone did not reconnect after 30 seconds. It says pausing script, unplug and replug USB cable and check the connection. Verify with ADB shell. I didn't do that either. All I did was unplug it, wait for the little tone, plug it back in. Then it says press any key to continue. So I pressed it and then bam, there you go. The thing is rooted. And then it says press any key to reboot the phone. I pressed my spacebar. And then it said, that's it, the phone reset, and I am rude now rooted. So that was actually not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be pretty damn complicated, because it's a pretty damn complicated phone. So now, the next thing that I'm going to be doing, not on this video, but um, for all my subscribers who give a shit, um, the Epic, as you guys know, is supposed to be getting the uh, Android 2.2 update and nobody seems to know when it's already released in the United Kingdom and the Evo already has a release and everything else is getting updated but I think because Samsung is making the Galaxy tab that they're not really putting as much effort as they could be into releasing 2.2 for the Galaxy S phones which are by far the best phones on the market and which kind of sucks but you know whatever at least we get a Galaxy Tab and iPad can still have the gay-ass iPad. But everything iPad does, we can do better. Alright, what do I got here? 7.23, I got three minutes left. Alright, so, one thing that I do plan on doing is putting Android 2.2 on my phone. Of course, it's not the official release, but it is Android 2.2 nonetheless. And then when the official release comes out, I'll just see if that one's any better, and if not, then I'll just say screw it and leave it how it is, but for right now, if you follow these simple instructions, you will have a rooted epic. Any questions, comments, just leave a comment and ask a question, and I'll get back to you, and I'll be like, yep, that's the answer. Alright, bye-bye.